over on the Cape Caution. That's good. I'm gonna release this, pressure off of the, the crane, and then go up and down with it. I think we're good to go. Engineer Zach Larson and deck boss Nick McGlashan make some vital repairs. We're out there hauling the last box. This ram went on us. It's really the only repair that I could think of that's ever really shut, shut us down that we couldn't fix. Two days ago. Oh, leak, hydraulic. The hydraulics on the launcher blew out. I don't think we have the piece. What's that? I don't think we have the piece. Damn. Zach's lack of preparation cost the boat time and money. Zach, you should be overseeing all that. It's your job, man. He should have the brains for it. I don't know if the motivation's there or not. They just don't have it. Now, while the skipper is away, all right, going down. The guys take charge of the fix. It looks good. Yeah. Right on. Mission accomplished. I think we fixed it. Hey, nice job, right? dude. Yeah. Woo! An expert at that. I think my dad will be happy that you know we got this done. Uh, Nick and I really tried to take more of an initiative, do stuff without having Bill to put it on the list or ask us. We're back in business. Got bait. Got fish. Got food. Got the ramp fixed. We're ready to rock. Now we can catch crap. Now we can make money. Right now, everybody's having lunch and a drink, and Zach and I are on a mission to chain the Northwestern to the dock. Before throwing lines, the crew of the Cape Caution has a grudge to settle. They stole our boat last season and payback time. This payback's almost even a little mild compared to what they did. Masterminding the operation, Captain Wild Bill Wachrowski. This is the first step first of many. And careful what you wish for, because now they started it. Four months ago. Is the ball loose? Good. This is really happening, dude. Sig and his crew took the Cape Caution for a joyride. Dude, you just stole Wild Bill's boat. Yeah, we're going to pay for this one. And as they say, payback's We're going to bolt it down, have the chain droop down into the water and then come up under the dock and then bolt it so they can't undo it. Okay. Yeah, you need to be quiet, John. Be quiet. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, Keith's not gone. Cornelia Marie's not out of here yet. They're still sitting at the dock getting ready. So at least we got a little jump on everybody. I've never actually ninja'd my way underneath of a floating dock to chain a crab boat to the dock to prevent it from leaving port. I can cross that off the list now. OK. We all good? Yeah, we're good right now. Now. We can leave in the morning if we have to, OK? You got me? Yeah, I got you. Don't let me fall. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Woo! I just want to get going right now. We got to grab our bait at the fuel dock. We got some fuel barrels, and we can get going here late tonight. You guys ready? Roger. Yeah. Lost the stern. All right, you guys. We're going to get out of here and go catch some opies. Yeah, we're going crabbing. Yeah. The clear. Have a good 
trip, buddy. Thanks for stealing my boat. They chained us to the dock! <laughs> what? They chained us to the dock! <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? Well, what do you think? You sold my boat. I made sure you couldn't leave the dock. <laughs> oh, my God. He chained me to the dock. Are you kidding me? Real nice. I can't believe the guys didn't see it. Oh, my God. 325 miles northwest of Dutch Harbor. On the Cape Caution. Oh, very <laughs> see, she has a little bit of an attitude right now. And we need to put some crab on this boat. We need to make it worthwhile. We got 14 pots over here that we didn't get back to because we blew the ram on the last pot of the previous set. Captain Wild Bill Bukrowski sets up to haul a string he abandoned five days ago. We fixed the ram on the uh, launcher. I gotta admit, the boys did good. Now, with the launcher back in operation, the skipper looks to leave his bad luck behind him. There's a chance there's still a good pocket of crab here. First string coming up, did not get town soak baited, so we'll see what we got. Yeah, we got the first one coming up here. Anytime you go to town, you hope for a lot of crab when you come back. Not a guarantee, though. I don't know what to expect here. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Yeah! Woo! We got crap. Oh, yeah. I got beautiful crab on the table. Look at it. Sell that for bear die. It's so big. Look at that, mountains of crab, mountains of nice crab. Tank busters. Tank bombs. It feels good to be putting 300 crab a pot in the tank. We're on them now! I'm telling you, this has got to be the heart of the school, or the leading edge or something, because these crab are big and clean. Definitely adding up in the tank. 